Frustrated by those crashes with the message exception access violation? Don't worry, this quick guide will decode the error and show you ways to fix it in just 10 seconds. Stay tuned. Press Windows plus S to open the search menu, type View Advanced System Settings, and click on the search result. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. Go to the Data Execution Prevention tab. Select Turn on DEP for all programs and services, except those I select, and then click Add. Locate the .exe file of the program you wish to run, select it, and click on Open. After you've added that program to the DEP exclusion list, click Apply and OK to save the changes. Try rerunning the program. Press Windows plus S to open Search, type UAC, and click on Change User Account Control Settings. Now drag the slider down until it says Never Notify, and then click OK to save the changes. Press Windows plus R to open Run, type percent %AppData% percent, and click OK to open the AppData folder. Now, open the My Battle for Middle Earth Files folder. If the folder is empty, you must create a new options.ini file. Create a new text document and add the following lines to it. Audio LOD equal sign, low Hassine logo movies, equal sign, yes, ideal static game LOD equal sign, very low resolution, equal sign, 800, 600 static game LOD equal sign, very low times in game, equal sign one. Now click file and select save as. Enter options.ini as the file name, choose all files from the save as type drop down menu, and click save. After the file has been saved, try rerunning the game. Find the shortcut of the problematic file, right click on it, and choose Properties. In the General tab, make sure the read only option is unchecked. Now, click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Try rerunning the application. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.